Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of Marshall Universe episode number 16 based on novel. So let's start. In a secluded corner of the clan, a group of people were gathered together. Right now, a peaceful laughter sounded out. It was Lin Jintian, Lin Xiao and the rest, Dong Er, did you cross paths with Lin Langtian again? In the stone pavilion, Lin Xiao looked at Lin Dong as he asked, that man bears a deep grudge against me. Even if I do not cross him, he would not let me go. Lin Dong gently smiled as he said, in two days time, I will follow clan leader Lin Fan, and head to the imperial capital to participate in the Battle of Seeds. Father, do all of you intend to stay in the main clan, or return to Yang City? I have discussed this matter with your grandfather and the rest. Even though the main clan is extremely powerful, it does not suit us. Therefore, after you leave, we shall return to Yang City. Lin Xiao gently smiled as he said. Lin Dong nodded his head. There were various inner factions fighting in the main clan. If Lin Xiao and the rest stayed behind, he would be slightly worried about them. Even though Yang City could not be compared to Lin City, at the very least, it was a safe and stable place. At that place, the Yang City Lin family had quite a powerful base, and it would definitely be better for them to stay there. This time around, you will be gone for a long while as well. Do you want to bring Ching Tan along? That lass is extremely talented, and if she is properly trained, she would become quite powerful in the future. Besides, I think that she really wants to stick by you. Lin Xiao suddenly said. When he heard his words, Lin Dong was silent for a moment. Then, he slowly shook his head before he said, What I have gone through is simply too dangerous. If Ching Tan follows me, I am afraid I would be putting her in danger. Even though she is extremely talented, I would rather have her safely tagging along you guys. Just let her brother explore the outside world. Lin Dong understood that the Battle of Seeds, and even the Hundred Empire, war was going to be extremely dangerous. In fact, he was even uncertain if he could successfully survive. Therefore, if he brought Ching Tan along, it may become even more perilous, all right, since you have made up your mind, we shall respect your decision. That last Ching Tan seems to have encountered some miracle over these two years. However, since she does not want to reveal it to us, we have no choice as well. As for her own future, she should be the one to decide. We should not interfere. Lin Xiao slowly said, okay. Lin Dong slowly nodded his head, also. Lin Xiao's voice stuttered, as he lifted his head and looked at his son, who was almost as tall as him, while a look of content hung on his face, take care of yourself when you're outside. If you get tired, we will be at home waiting for you. As he stared at Lin Xiao's gentle expression, Lin Dong felt his eyes slightly swell up. Then, he sucked in a deep breath, before he lifted his head and stared at the sky. Promptly, he softly chuckled as he muttered to himself, Father, the reason why I chose to head outside was because I want to protect all of you and prevent harm from coming your way. However, right now, I am still not powerful enough, in a blink of an eye, three days had passed. There were numerous clan members gathering in the Lin clan's plaza. Their eyes were gathered on the people standing in the center of the plaza. These people would be the representatives for the Great Yang Empire's most prestigious tournament, the Battle of Seeds. With regards to the Battle of Seeds, everyone knew clearly about how terrifying it is. If one's success in the clan gathering would allow him to become an influential figure in the Great Yang Empire, then, to be able to secure a placing in the Battle of Seeds would win him supreme glory and respect in the Great Yang Empire. That was because if one had a placing, one would represent the Great Yang Empire to take part in the Epic Hundred Empire War. In the center of the plaza, Lin Fan was busy arranging plans with the elders for the time where he would be away. Not far away, Lin Dong was still together with Lin Xiao and his counterparts. He glanced around and asked puzzlingly, where's Ching Tan? That girl knows that you won't be bringing her. She is throwing a tantrum now, Lin Xiao laughed. Hearing what was said, Lin Dong could only smile bitterly as he shook his head, don't worry, we will pacify her. All right, they are almost done with the preparations, go now, Lin Jintian smiled, okay. Grandpa, Dad and everyone, take care. Lin Dong nodded his head heavily and bent his body to give a solemn bow to Lin Jintian and his counterparts. Upon witnessing this scene, the clan members around them were dumbstruck. During this period of time, from what they had seen, Lin Dong was an extremely arrogant, fearless individual. They did not expect him to be so respectful towards Lin Jintian and the branch family members. 
Without further hesitation, and with one more salute, Lin Dong took over Little Flame, which had transformed into a kitten, from Lin Xiao. He then turned around and walked towards the center of the plaza with big strides. Let's go. Lin Fan waved his hand and took the lead by jumping onto the back of the demonic beast first. Lin Dong, Lin Langtian, and hundreds of Lin clan fighters immediately followed his lead. A lineup like this looked powerful and dominating. It showed how important the Battle of Seeds was to the Lin clan. After everyone had jumped atop the back of the four winged monster, it let out a low growl. After that, under the gazes of numerous clan members, that winged demonic beast rose up in the air rapidly. With a gust of wind, the monster flew towards the direction of the Imperial City with an extreme speed. As the huge demonic beast flew across the sky of Lin City, it drew numerous gazes from the people. Within the Lin City, there were many well informed individuals. Therefore, they knew about the Lin clan's objectives for this operation. However, they were still curious to find out if the Lin clan could successfully obtain a placing in the Battle of Seeds this time around. Even though the Lin clan had powerful figures like Lin Dong and Lin Langtian this time around, there were still competitors from the other three great clans, Imperial Family and other powerful sects. These competitors were not simple individuals. Therefore, compared to the clan gathering, it would be far more difficult to distinguish oneself in the Battle of Seeds. On the towering city wall of the Lin City, there was a graceful, beautiful figure of a woman. She raised her head and looked at the huge, flying monster. Unwillingly, she clenched her slender, lily-white hand softly, smelly brother Lin Dong, I don't need you to find ways for me to go. As Lin Dong sat on the gigantic beast, the incoming gale dissipated, a few feet before reaching Lin Dong's body. There were many Lin clan fighters seated around Lin Dong. However, there were no signs of mockery and disdain in their gazes towards Lin Dong. The recent events had led them to understand that the youth in front of them was no ordinary individual. Only fools would mock those who were stronger than themselves. Evidently, they were not fools. Naturally, Lin Dong did not care much about their gazes. Instead, he was looking at Lin City, which was getting smaller and smaller in his sight. The fists in his sleeves began to clench tightly. That was because he do not know when will he back after leaving this time around. In the future, he will be exploring the new world, filled with dangers and opportunities, alone. As for Lin Xiao and his counterparts, Lin Dong was not too worried about them. Before Lin Dong left, not only did he give his father numerous powerful martial arts, he also gave him two advanced symbol puppets. Lin Dong believed that, with these trump cards, the Yang City's branch family would be gradually stronger in the future, Dad, Ching Tan, take care. Lin Dong softly murmured to himself. Finally, he withdrew his gaze and closed his eyes. He knew that, in order for his father and family members to live in peace in the Great Yang Empire, he must successfully win a placing to participate in the Hundred Empire War. Only then, would he be able to leave in peace. Imperial City, the most prestigious city in the Great Yang Empire. For the time being, Ignoring those indiscernible supersects, at least among all the factions in Great Yang Dynasty, the Imperial Family was the universally acknowledged overlord of the Great Yang Empire. Therefore, the Imperial City was naturally the most magnificent and imposing landmark in the Great Yang Empire. The Imperial City was located at east of the Great Desolate Province. The Imperial City and the Lin City happened to face each other as well. Even though the Lin City was known to have a similar scale as the Imperial City, yet to some degree, the former was still inferior as compared to the latter. After all, the Lin clan still had to respect the overlord of the Great Yang Empire, and only wise clans could survive. Regardless, be it the Imperial family, the Lin clan, the other three great clans, or any reputable sects in the Great Yang Empire, all of them viewed the Battle of Seeds with great importance. That was because everyone knew the importance of qualifying for the Hundred Empire War. Whoever was successfully chosen by those super sects in the Hundred Empire War, not only would that person will be rewarded lavishly, but his clan and even the Great Yang Empire would be rewarded as well. Two days were spent to travel from the Lin City to the Imperial City. In these two days, Lin Dong also obtained all the information regarding the Battle of Seeds. From these information, he knew that all the powerful sects and clans in the Great Yang Empire had sent out their younger generation's best fighters. However, according to Lin Fan, there were five factions that he needed to be worried about. The Imperial Family, Wang Clan and the three strongest sects in the Great Yang Empire, Heavenly Luo Sect, Great Sorrow Valley and the Barbarian King Sect. The talents which these five great factions possessed were as terrifying as Lin Langtian. 
This time around, it seemed that the Battle of Seeds would truly be a earth-terrifying war. Two days later, Lin Dong and the Lin clan's entourage finally reached the Imperial City smoothly. They then had a rest in the Imperial City for three days. During these three days, Lin Dong had roughly experienced the grandiose and prestige of the legendary Imperial City. However, upon reaching the third day, the time for leisure was finally over. As Lin Dong saw Lin Fan, whose face suddenly looked tense and imposing, he knew that the Battle of Seeds was about to start soon. Within these three days, there had been a continuous arrivals of entourages from various Great Yang Empire's reputable sects. This in turn ignited the atmosphere in the Imperial City. Even though the Battle of Seeds was an internal affair, news of this matter still spread wide and far. Anyone who did the math could guess that other than the Great Yang Empire's legendary Battle of Seeds, what else could be responsible for the influx of great sects from various provinces and regions scattered across the empire? As the news spread, it undoubtedly became the hottest topic in the entire imperial city instantly. Everyone was discussing about the Battle of Seeds with zest. Topics like which clan or sect would win a spot came up in the discussions. At the same time, information on each and every talented individuals from various factions were being digged out to discuss about their capabilities. Rough predictions were also made based on these discussions. No matter what, Lin Dong knew that the Battle of Seeds, which Lin Fan considered to be a secret, had already been circulating actively in the Imperial City. For the journey this time around, Lin Fan did not bring much people along with him. He only brought Lin Dong, Lin Langtian, and a few outstanding fighters to the Imperial Palace. The Battle of Seeds would be taking place in the inner sanctum of the Imperial Palace. It was under strict security, and only those powerful factions were allowed access. Of course, there was also a tight limit on the number of people allowed to access the place. After all, it was the Imperial Palace and rules had to be strictly followed. By the time Lin Dong and his counterparts reached the inner sanctum of the Imperial Palace, there were already many entourages. Lin Fan was not surprised by this scene. He then led Lin Dong and his counterparts to occupy their seats. There was a total of four people who had just arrived. The person leading them was an elderly man with white hair and white beard. His face was serene, yet Lin Dong could sense a powerful aura emitting from his body. This aura indicated an individual who was more powerful than those who were at the peak of the manifestation stage, yet at the same time, lacking a small distance before reaching the nirvana stage, half-step to nirvana stage. Lin Dong squinted his eyes slightly. This white-haired elder was a half-step to nirvana stage practitioner. This kind of aura also showed that he possessed the ability to break through to nirvana stage. As long as he possessed enough nirvana pills, his success rate would be above 60%. That's the leader of the heavenly Luo sect, Liu Luo. Do you see the white-clothed youth behind him? He is a strong competitor, who is expected to win a spot this time around, Lin Fan's voice rang out in Lin Dong's ear as the latter was observing the white-haired elder. Hearing these words, Lin Dong's gaze shifted towards the white-clothed youth behind the white-haired elder. This youth looked handsome and refined. However, what tensed up Lin Dong was that the youth's aura was at advanced manifestation stage, white-clothed heavenly Luo sword, Du Yun. Lin Dong exclaimed. On the way here, Lin Fan had told him stories of these sects' younger generation. The white-clothed heavenly Luo sword was an outstanding talent among the younger generation of the heavenly Luo sect. He was an exceptional talent, whose level of swordplay had reached perfection. As Lin Dong was watching the white-clothed youth attentively, the latter turned his head around, as if he sensed something. As his gaze met with Lin Dong's, a sharp but formless blade shadow flew across. This kind of blade shadow was not shot out intentionally by the white-clothed youth. But rather, it was shot out automatically after one's level of swordplay had reached an exceptional level. Lin Dong's face remained composed and his body did not move at all. A few feet before it reached Lin Dong's body, the white-clothed youth's blade shadow disappeared as if it had hit some kind of invisible barrier, mental energy, interesting, the white-clothed youth muttered to himself, with a smile on his face as the blade shadow disappeared. After the arrival of the heavenly Luo sex entourage, more and more factions began to arrive. A slightest movement from these factions could tremble the entire Great Yang Empire. They were the real powerhouses of this empire. As more entourages arrived, Lin Dong spotted another two great sects, the Barbarian King sect and the Great Sorrow Valley. The participants for the Battle of Seeds from these two sects were definitely as strong as the white-clothed youth. They were strong competitors for the Battle of Seeds. While Lin Dong was observing these opponents, not far away, 
There were people observing him too. Is he the Lin Dong whom Qingzhu mentioned before? The person who was observing Lin Dong was an black robed youth. He was quite handsome, yet there was an unconcealable tinge of arrogance between his eyebrows. He seemed to be the type of guy who thinks he was a genius and was full of himself. Standing beside the young man, there was a beautiful figure whom Lin Dong was familiar with. She was Huang Pu Jing from the Huang Pu clan. Her eyes were solemn as she stared right at Lin Dong. She had heard of the recent news regarding Lin Dong, and she had never expected that the latter would improve so dramatically within a year. After all, at the time when they were at the Great Wasteland's ancient tablet, Lin Dong was not even qualified to challenge Lin Langtian. Now, he was on equal footing with the latter, could you not say her name with such intimacy? Sister Qingzhu is not interested in you. Huang Pu Jing took a look at the youth beside her and knitted her eyebrows. She could not understand why their Huang Pu clan's strongest genius was her crazy cousin, in the future, I will definitely distinguish myself in the Hundred Empire War, and when that moment comes, the super sect will select me to join their ranks. At that time, I will be fully qualified to Wu Qingzhu, the black-robed youth chuckled. He was quite irritated with Huang Pu Jing's attitude. However, he would have to bear with it since she was the daughter of the clan leader, let's talk about it after you have won a spot in the Battle of Seeds. These opponents are not easy to deal with. Huang Pu Jing said coldly. The members of the Wang clan have arrived. As he heard Lin Fan's words, the outer corner of Lin Dong's eyes twitched and his gaze shifted rapidly to the direction of the ruckus. He was extremely interested in the Wang clan's exceptional genius who even Lin Langtian could not handle, Wang Zhong. The person in front was a bare-armed middle-aged man, and he looked like a brute. As his eyes scanned across the arena, an extremely formidable and savage aura emerged. However, what caused Lin Dong to turn solemn was that this man's aura did not lose out to Lin Fan at all. That was to say he was a genuine Nirvana stage practitioner, the Wang clan is indeed a huge faction that is able to rival the Lin clan, as he sensed that middle-aged man's strength, Lin Dong secretly swallowed his tongue. These large factions were truly powerful. In fact, in the entire Great Yang Dynasty, the only factions that possessed the resources to allow one to reach Nirvana stage were probably those few. However, Lin Dong also believed that the Nirvana stage was the extent of the four great clans' resources. In the Lin clan, Lin Mu had already reached the peak of manifestation stage, and he had the qualifications to attack Nirvana stage. However, he chose not to do so. Even though the possibility of failure may be holding him back, Lin Dong was aware it was most likely, because the Lin clan did not have sufficient resources for another practitioner to attack Nirvana stage. After all, it required an enormous amount of Nirvana pills in order to attack Nirvana stage, and even the Lin clan would find it difficult to afford it twice. Therefore, they placed their hopes on the upcoming Hundred Empire War. As long as one of their members was selected by a super sect, the rewards that they would bestow upon them would allow their Lin clan to attempt another breakthrough. At that time, there would be hardly any factions in Great Yang Dynasty that could oppose them. Of course, Lin Dong was aware that there were likely many people here who had the same idea as Lin Fan. When this thought flashed across his mind, Lin Dong's attention immediately turned to behind that middle-aged man. There were two similar-looking young men behind him. One of them was Wang Yang, who had already been defeated by Lin Dong. After Lin Dong casually glared at him, he turned to look at that young man beside him, that was dressed in blue clothes. This young man was dressed in blue clothes and his face was emotionless. From his appearance alone, he seemed pretty ordinary. However, his appearance immediately drew the attention of the crowd. As he silently stood behind that middle-aged man, a similarly vicious and overbearing aura emerged. In fact, his aura was simply much more powerful than Wang Yang. Evidently, this was the person that Lin Fan had warned him about, the Wang clan genius, Wang Zhong. When they appeared, that bare-armed middle-aged man laughed heartily, before his eyes turned towards Lin Fan's direction, Ha ha, Lin Fan, you have came here early every time. However, I am afraid you are going to be disappointed this time. Before his figure arrived, that bare-armed middle-aged man's hearty laugh ricocheted, Wang Lei, don't count your chickens before they hatch. You may end up disappointed, Lin Fan gently smiled as he said, it seems like you are still bearing a grudge, after your Lin clan was defeated by my Wang clan, during the previous Battle of the Seeds, that bare-armed middle-aged man called Wang Lei laughed heartily. There were traces of animosity contained, Lin Langtian, I heard that you couldn't handle that person. Wang Zhong glanced at Lin Dong as he casually spoke, 
Some lowly beings are always trying to climb higher. What a joke. I believe that after this battle of seeds, he will naturally return to where he belongs. After all, not everyone is qualified to participate in these types of battles. Lin Langtian casually smiled as he said, his aura is pretty powerful. Initial manifestation stage, yet he is able to match up against you. It seems like his battle ability is quite powerful. If I encounter him, I shall show no mercy. After all, Wang Yang should not have suffered for nothing and I must let everyone know that there is a price to pay for humiliating my Wang clan. Wang Zhong's voice was so calm that it did not even cause a ripple. Promptly, he paused for a moment before he said, Of course, if I was unfortunate enough to meet you, I will show no mercy as well, ha ha, likewise. Lin Langtian laughed as he said. Promptly, he turned to look at a calm Lin Dong, before a vicious glint flashed across his eyes. Standing aside, Wang Yang was also chuckling as he viciously stared at Lin Dong. Even though he had heard about the commotion that Lin Dong caused, in his opinion, regardless of what miracle the latter experienced, he was no match for brother Wang Zhong. At that time, when that fellow is kicked out of the Battle of Seeds, he shall see how arrogant Lin Dong can be. With regards to their conversation, Lin Dong chose to ignore it. However, a coldness and killing intent secretly arose in his heart. This Lin Langtian was continuously causing trouble for him, and he was truly hateful. However, he did not care how talented Wang Zhong is. In this Battle of Seeds, regardless of who showed up in front of him, he will show no mercy at all. If he chose not to create trouble for him, that was be fine. However, if he is truly ignorant, he wouldn't mind making the Wang clan weep as they head home. Ha ha, it has been twenty years, yet all of you still look so radiant suddenly. A crisp and hearty laughter sounded out from the entrance. Then, large groups of men swarmed in. The one leading the way was a middle-aged man, whose hair was dyed black and white. That man was dressed in dragon robes, and he gave off a powerful royal aura. His age seemed similar to Lin Fan and Wang Yang. Even though the two of them were considered the elite of Great Yang Dynasty, in contrast to this man, they seemed somewhat lacking. After all, he was the real overlord of Great Yang Dynasty. Imperial family tyrant tiger, Mo Jingtian, is he the Great Yang Dynasty's emperor, Mo Jingtian? His aura is probably stronger than Lin Fan and Wang Lei. The imperial family's foundations is truly solid. Lin Dong's expression was extremely serious. He could sense an extremely pressuring aura from Mo Jingtian's body. That pressure was even stronger than Lin Fan. Therefore, that man's strength has probably exceeded Lin Fan and the rest. In fact, he may have successfully broke through the first Nirvana Kalpa, and officially advanced to one Yuan Nirvana stage. When facing such a powerful practitioner, Lin Dong became extremely alert. That was because he knew that against a Nirvana stage practitioner like Lin Fan and Wang Lei, who had yet to broke through any Nirvana Kalpa, he could use the Blood Soul Puppet to turn the situation around. However, if he fought against Mo Jingtian, he would be severely endangered. Greetings, Your Majesty. When they saw him, Lin Fan, Wang Lei and the other faction's leader immediately greeted him respectfully. Ha ha, why are you guys so polite? Dispense with the ceremonies. Mo Jingtian's laughed heartily. His laughter was just like thunder, and it was filled with an overwhelming pressure. As he waved his hand, a gentle force slowly spread out and straightened up all of their bent backs. Mo Jingtian's casual flick caused Lin Fan and the rest's expressions to turn solemn. They were considered as the Great Yang Dynasty's elite practitioners, and they naturally felt just how powerful Mo Jingtian was. Immediately, a look of envy involuntarily gushed in their hearts. The imperial family's foundation was simply too powerful. In order to attack Nirvana stage, they had used up nearly every Nirvana pill in their clan. Therefore, how would they have any left to attack that terrifying Nirvana Kapla, nonetheless, as long as one of our clansmen is selected by a super sect, our clan's resources shall swell up again. At that time, I can also attack the first Nirvana Kapla and ascend to one Yuan Nirvana stage. When they thought of this point, several faction leaders' hearts turned heated. As they stared at their disciples that were about to participate in the Battle of Seeds, their eyes were all filled with boundless expectations. Just as Lin Dong's heart was slightly stunned by how beautiful this young man was, his expression gradually turned solemn. As that person slowly approached them, he could faintly feel an extremely powerful aura flowing within his body. These are the opponents that you must pay extra attention to. The Imperial family members are extremely private, and they do not show off their powers. However, 
they are all extremely powerful, and they are all formidable foes. Lin Fan's words flashed across Lin Dong's mind. Then, his pupils shrunk. It seems like that young man, who was even more beautiful than a lady, was going to represent the Imperial Family in the Battle of Seeds. Imperial Family, Green Robes Mo Ling. Being the strongest faction in the Great Yang Empire, the Imperial Family usually would not display too much of their powerful capabilities. At the same time, no one dared to underestimate them. In every Battle of Seeds, the participants from the Imperial Family would definitely win one placing. Furthermore, for past several hundred years, the number of intakes by the super sects from the Imperial Family had been the highest among all the placings in the Hundred Empire War. This was ultimately why the Imperial Family was able to survive this long in the Great Yang Empire. According to Lin Fan, the Imperial Family currently has more than three of their members in those super sects. Every ten years or so, the Imperial Family would be rewarded with an enormous amount of resources, thereby making them even stronger. The Imperial Family also differed from the other factions in another way. Talents like Lin Langtian was well known in the Great Yang Empire. On the contrary, the Imperial Family's talents kept a low profile. Only a small number of people knew who were the talents among the younger generation of the Imperial Family. Even though the Imperial Family would not flaunt their talents, even the dumbest person would know that any talent who was from the Imperial Family will not be no ordinary individual. Lin Dong's gaze lowered and his heart was sighing with sorrow. The Battle of Seeds no doubt was the highest level competition in the Great Yang Empire. All the participants are extremely powerful. It would not be an easy task to win one of the five placings among all these talents. Just as Lin Dong was deep in thought, the entourage of the Imperial family passed by him. He lowered his head and gazed at a figure dressed in green robe. He raised his gaze and was startled slightly by a devilishly beautiful face, whose expression was a bit unsettling. If this face was on a female's body, the woman would be gorgeous. However, with this face on a male's body there should be an evil presence surrounding the man, Am I right to say you are Brother Lin Dong, the person who recently created a sensation in the Great Yang Empire? The green-robed youth gave Lin Dong a smile, appearing to be quite courteous. His voice was soft and gentle as well. This made Lin Dong cannot help, but look at his slender and fair throat. After confirming there was an Adam's apple, Lin Dong then nodded his head awkwardly and gave a bow and greeted, Lin Dong greets the third royal prince. Mo Ling was the third son in the imperial family, and was also known as the third royal prince. Naturally, all these information was passed on from Lin Fan to Lin Dong. As Mo Ling gave a touching smile, Lin Dong felt a cold shudder down his back. The former's gaze swept across Lin Dong's body, which he then withdrew after a short moment. He then said delicately, a well-deserved reputation. The way Mo Jingtian spoke was direct and efficient, without any unnecessary elaborations. As he finished speaking, he held up his palm and a bunch of bamboo lots, which was shrouded in faint glow, appeared in his hand, participants for the Battle of Seeds, each and every one of you draw a lot. As Mo Jingtian finished shouting these words, the bamboo lots in his hand shot up into the sky with a faint glow engulfing them, as the bamboo lots flew up the sky, deafening sounds echoed throughout the holding area when the participants flew up to grab the bamboo lots. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong waved his palm and obtained a lot with an attractive force. He then turned over his palm and found out that the phrase left nine was written on the lot, the drawing of lots has been completed. Everyone, it's time for this year's battle of seats to begin. After seeing all the lots had been taken, Mo Jingtian bellowed, enter the arena. After Mo Jingtian finished speaking, numerous silhouettes flew by and entered the monumental hall through the passageways in accordance with their lots indications, Lin Dong, Lin Langtian, both of you can get started, Lin Fan waved his hand and said as he saw everyone leaving, okay. Lin Dong and Lin Langtian nodded their heads. They then looked at each other, sensing a tinge of animosity in each other's eyes. Without further hesitation, they then split up and flew towards their respective passageways in a flash. In the holding area, the participants also started to move out at this moment. Within a few minutes, all the participants for the Battle of Seeds had entered the massive hall smoothly. Everyone else, please follow me to the final site. We will wait there for the five victors of the Battle of Seeds. Mo Jingtian chuckled. He then turned around and flew towards the other end of the gigantic hall. Behind him, Wang Lei and other faction leaders began to follow suit as well. Lin Fan was the last to leave. His gaze was upon the passageways that Lin Dong and Lin Langtian had entered. He then muttered to himself, since one mountain cannot hold two tigers, 
Then show me which one of you will be the stronger tiger. Lin Dong's eyesight was getting sharper as he took a step forward and landed a ferocious punch on the metal door. Immediately, the metal door was blasted open with metal fragments flying in all directions. However, as these fragments got closer to Lin Dong's body, they turned into dust automatically. After the metal door blasted open, Lin Dong walked right through it. Behind the metal door, there was an extremely spacious great hall. The great hall seemed to be built with black metal, giving off an oppressive aura. Lin Dong moved his feet and walked toward the center of the great hall. After a while, he stopped in his track while his gaze was cast upon the center of the great hall. There were already two people standing there, with their arms folded and eyes staring pitifully at Lin Dong. Lin Dong's gaze swept across these two persons and his pupils began to dilate. That was because he discovered that these two persons had the same emblems on their chest. That goes to show that they were from the same sect. According to the rules, the first checkpoint would be a three-way battle. There would be three people walking out of the intertwined passageways and meeting at this place. Out of the three people, only one could move on. Usually, these three people would come from different sects as this is a mixed battle. However, there was a slight chance that people from the same sects would meet here. If this was to happen, it would spell troubles for the third person. That was because the two persons from the same sect would first defeat the last person, before making the decision to see which one of them will proceed with the competition. And now, Lin Dong was truly unfortunate to encounter such a situation. He must fight two persons in one go in the first round. Hence, this explained why the two persons looked at Lin Dong pitifully when the latter walked in. To fight two person in one go practically means that Lin Dong was likely going to be eliminated. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.